Or maybe I'm just that good that I can learn that so quickly. Alright, um, man, Spirit Thief, let's remap, ah, uh, bring that to three, bring this to four, bring that to five, and then Toad Demon is still six, okay. Alright, so if I need more Chi, I should use Spirit Thief. I'm getting an awful lot of techniques. At some point, I'm going to have to only focus on certain ones and kind of totally ignore others. I, or I don't know if that's really a good strategy or not, but there's just so many of them. The Shadow in the Trees Travelers in the Great Southern Forest often report strange sightings and bizarre phenomena -nomena 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 -nomena. Aside from the hospitality of the Pilgrim's Rest Inn, the forest is nearly entirely wilderness, and the verdant canopy of the forest hides wonderful and fearsome creatures unlike any seen anywhere else in the Empire. The strangest tales are those of a shadow among the trees that seems to follow visitors to the forest. Philosophers hoping to reflect in the peace of the forest often report feeling watched, and patrons of the Pilgrim's Rest Inn claim to have seen a strange silhouette darting among the trees. Despite the apparently otherworldly nature of this figure, those who witness it sense no aggression and attribute it to the mysteries of the forest. Great. I'm gonna bet you that I'll probably run into whatever that creature thing is. And who might you be? Oh. Sorry, miss. Um, can I, can I help you with something? Seamstress land, I guess, it seems. Please, please excuse me. I, I know I shouldn't be crying in public like this, but I just, I just can't help it. Um, what's wrong? Please, I'm just a humble woman. My name is Seamstress Lawn, and I have a problem I don't know how to solve. I thought, I thought you could help, but I was afraid to speak to you. Oh, because you saw the ice bolts flying from my hands. With my fiance, Baker Bay. Every day, a group of thugs attacks him and beats him up. He tries to avoid them, but they find him wherever he goes. Not the baker! The beatings are getting worse. I'm... I'm terrified they're going to kill him. After I saw you take on those sailors, I thought... Well... Okay, as a guy who loves pastries and cakes and other baked goods, I'm... I cannot let this continue. Cannot. Um... I'm not even going to say there's got to be more to the story. Like, as the player, I probably think there might be something more to the story, because why would they give me this option to ask? But my character would not think that anything out of the ordinary is up. So I'll say, I'll take care of those thugs for you, sure. Thank you so much, kind sir. You don't know what this means to me. If our firstborn is a boy, he shall have your name. Uh, great. Bay is down at Beggar's Pier right now in the southeast corner of town. If you hurry, you can probably get there before the thugs attack him today. Alright, we're gonna save ourselves a baker. And maybe he'll give me pie. Because that would just be the most awesome thing, is pie. Bamboo cast. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wait, wait, did I... did that mission not clear? Yet? Yeah, I guess I have to... I have to... help... With, oh, okay, Beggar's Pier. So that's where we're going to rescue her husband from the... Ooh, chest. Yeah, you guys just don't mind me. Just keep staring at wherever it is you guys are staring. I'm just going to sneak over here and... Flawed Scholar Gem. Yeah, I don't need any of those. Dishwasher Wong? You really shouldn't be here. Mr. Tay does not like others to observe him working. I can't speak with you. Mr. Tay is very strict with his apprentices. Who is Mr. Tay? Everyone gets used to Mr. Tay's dishes eventually. They are very, uh, complex. Mr. Tay keeps the kitchen well stocked with exotic ingredients. I'm sure they're all delicacies somewhere. What kind of exotic ingredients, boy? You really shouldn't be here. Alright, alright. Mr. Tay does not like a- Who let you back here? Bad enough on this work with incompetence. I don't need you walking through my kitchen. You must be Mr. Lay. Do thugs like you think you can just walk what? back here for food anytime? Thugs! If I wanted human interaction, I'd have a kiosk in the square. Um, or maybe a trough. 
something tells me you haven't. Why a trough? Well, we don't feed the animals, Mr. Tay. That's handled by the farmers. Step back, Mr. Wong. You just step back. Uh, I was gonna say something tells me that guy hasn't had much human interaction in quite a long time, if ever, even. Uh, that is not an appropriate greeting, Cook. Perhaps not, but I have little patience for the rules of so-called polite society. Oh, really? They only increase the time I must spend away from my work. Really? Uh, <laughs> what do you know about the spirit world? That's... What is it with Angelus and his obsession about the spirit world that he has to ask cooks about it? Really? <laughs> Angelus. Ugh. Look, I, I need information about Tian's Landing and you're going to tell me. Then go walk around it. I do not waste my time collecting rumors. Everybody eats. That is all I need to know. No. I don't like this guy. I want to ask something about you. Because... Yeah. Me? I there's nothing to know about me. I cook for ungrateful people who do not understand what good food is. Your palate is very sophisticated, Mr. Tay. Mr. Some say your dishes are, uh, acquired tastes. No, no, I am quite certain that the problem is with the customers. If you wish to keep your position, Mr. Wong, you will smile and nod. Um, see, I, I actually am a bit of a foodie myself, a, a major connoisseur. Very, very adventurous, actually. I will try anything once. Um, and even so, I think this guy is way too harsh. Way, 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 way too harsh. Uh, you're very harsh with your assistant, sir. Mr. Wong is here to cut the vegetables and heft the rice bags. His job does not include criticizing the menu. I am the head chef. He is nothing. What? Oh. But I am learning. I will train hard to become the best chef I can. You tell him, Wong. There is a small chance he could become slightly more than nothing, but I have seen no sign of it as yet. Some people are heroes, some merely clap as heroes walk by. Thank you, Chef Gordon Ramsay. I'm just gonna call you Gordon Ramsay from now on. Um, and just because it seems like Angelus is really, really curious about it, he's gonna ask, what do you know about the spirit world? The spirit world? You were talking about stories for children. I believe what I see. If I see it, it is real. Very simple. If you want some deeper discussion than that, go to a temple. Me, I will stay here and cook for the living. Yeah, you do that, Gordon. You don't believe in spirits? I hear stories just like everyone else, but they are always told by some scared farmer who wouldn't know the wind from a howl. I believe what I see. That's enough. All right, I'm leaving. Good, I need to concentrate on the menu. You want to eat, you'll leave me alone. She. All right, all right. What a sourpuss. What a sourpuss. Uh, we're not going to go quite there yet because we still need to talk to everybody here. Goofu, Goofu, Goofu the sweet. Wow. Your parents must not have liked you very much. I'm sorry. You're a stranger here, aren't you? I know everyone in Tian's Landing, and I've never seen you before. I would remember you. You should turn right around and leave this town. Trust me. Wow. Uh... What should I... Why should I leave? Everything in Tian's Landing is falling apart. Sheng, the local minister, is helpless to deal with all our troubles. You should get out while you can. Uh... Who are you again? I am Gufu, Great One. Some call me Gufu the Sweet, though I don't know why. I usually smell like the fish I sell. Perhaps they are making fun of me. Yeah, unfortunately. But now, there are no fish to sell. I have lived in Tian's Landing all my life, but now I'm ashamed to say I wish I lived somewhere else. Why do you wish that? 
Everything in Tian's Landing is falling apart. Sheng, the local minister, is oh, helping us to deal that. with all our. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Of course, Great One. I would be honored to answer whatever questions you may have. Wait, Great One. Wait. First, you told me that you've never seen me here around before, and then you tell me that you know that I'm the Great One. Really? Uh. Wait, why would I ask, do you have a coin pur purse with you? That's a little inappropriate, Angelus. I'm not going to ask that. I need to find a flyer, some other kind of airship. Airship? I have only heard of such things. Graceful ships that sail through the air? I've always longed to see one, but I'm just a simple peasant. Perhaps Minister Shang would know something of this. He once lived in the Imperial City. I have heard the skies above it are filled with airships. And how do I find my Minister Shang? There's a road off to the right just beyond this tea house. Keep following it up until you reach the town square. Minister Shang is usually there. Alright, sounds good. I might have more questions for you. Of course, great one. Yeah, great one, great one. Uh, no, that's it. Take care of yourself, stranger, and be glad that you do not live in Tian's Landing. And a peasant. Things have never been easy in Tian's Landing. The Emperor doesn't care about us. That's why he sent someone like Shang. This town needs the river to survive. If someone doesn't close the dam, we're doomed. Sounds like a side quest, that dam. Alright, the peasant doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Alright, let's go into the tea house. You want some tea, Zoo? You look like a tea person. Definitely look like a tea person. Oh, wow. Good, you're here. We can continue where we left off before. Yes, let's. You've got unfinished business with us first. What? Oh, there are important matters at hand, yet you fellows keep interrupting. I'm surprised you're this eager to get another beating so soon. Yeah. This time we brought some friends to even up the odds. What the? Guys, this is a tea house. Really? At a tea house? What is this? Ice shark. Oh, great. I'm gonna try to steal some chi. Nice. I'm liking this. Legendary Sprite! Perfect. Ice shot. Freeze, bums. Legendary Sprite! And a harmonic combo for the win. Ice shot. Legendary Sprite! I might have to raise the difficulty back to normal now. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Legendary Sprite! This is the end! Nice. Is that it? Who else yeah. left? Ice shot. There we go. You certainly look like Lee's top student, though there's something odd about how you fight. I can't put my finger on it. Um, it doesn't matter. The sailors won't bother us again. Maybe it's the ice shards that I'm we throwing. We can get back to business. Sun Lee gave me instructions to await you if, if anything should happen. I have prepared for this day for well over a decade. Yeah, and sorry about the tea house, you know. Although everybody around here doesn't seem to be affected by it at all. They're all just, you know, drinking their tea as if, yeah, this this happens. Is it Thursday at three o'clock again? Yeah, that happens. Uh, are you saying Lee knew he'd be kidnapped? The full extent of what the glorious strategist knows is beyond my mind to comprehend. He is without peer. All I know is that I had instructions to wait for you. Sun Lee asked me to seek a piece of a special amulet he wanted you, Ooh. his prize pupil, to have. Ooh, that's right. It was broken apart and scattered when the spirit monk temple fell. He intended to, and I assume he did, give the main piece to you. 
Rumor placed a smaller part with a fleeing apprentice monk, but it had been some years and the trail was cold. So you search for the rest of the amulet? I eventually learned the monk had fled to Old Tien's landing. He was there a year or so, but died of lingering injuries and was buried with his possessions unsorted. Huh. So... It was rushed at the time because the new dam was due to close and Old Tien's would become a watery tomb. The amulet was beyond reach, so I came here and waited. Now the Lotus Assassins have drained the lake and exposed the ruins of Old Tien's landing. It seems they are searching for this piece of the Spirit Monk amulet, too. How convenient. Um, how do they know about it? The Emperor is privy to much. I don't know his motives, but any aid to you is likely a threat to him. You must go to the ruins and find the amulet piece meant for you. Um, what if my flyer had functioned properly? You'd have waited for nothing. That's a very good question, Angelus. I'm glad you're asking it for me. I choose to believe that my service was valuable and vital. You would have come here eventually. The amulet would draw you, at least. Sure, if you say so. And how long have you been waiting for me? It is coming on 15 years now. Fif As I said, I learned the location of the amulet after the monk died in Old Tien's. It has been difficult serving and waiting in silence. This Hui has been waiting here for me specifically in this town for 15 years just to wait for me that's dedication right there ladies and gentlemen um i want to ask you some questions my assignment is to give you information to help you acquire the amulet i will gladly answer whatever questions all right I can. all right all right all right my question is whoa oh wow i have a lot of questions can you tell me more about the amulet i only know that i had to find the piece i was tracking i did so it is in the ruins you must find it before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to help your master. She found it. Wait, Hui, you were here for 15 years. You found the amulet, but you didn't bother to go get it. Alright, you want me to get it. How do we get to the ruins? The gates leading to the ruins are locked, but Minister Shang can give you the key. Right, right. You can find him in the town square, the highest point in Tian's Landing. I suspect the minister is eager to have someone investigate the opening of the Great Dam. You can use this as an excuse to get the key and explore the ruins. So what the game is trying to tell me is that the game really wants me to talk to Minister Shang. Like, it really, really does want to. It's like hitting me over the head with talking to Minister Shang. Can you tell me anything else about the Spirit Thief style? You are wise to ask. It is a difficult but essential skill to master. When should I switch to Spirit Thief? Spirit Thief is always useful. Well it then. It is common to get run down or injured during battle, and you can tire yourself even further concentrating your chi to aid yourself. When you are feeling such a drain on your resources, switch to Spirit Thief, and each successful blow will restore you slightly. The drain will not hamper your opponent, however. Of course. Do you have a favorite tactic you could share? If you power through an opponent's guard with its strongest attack, it can briefly immobilize an enemy. During this, you can concentrate and increase the restoration. If you use that time to attack with another style, be careful. Your opponent may not be as vulnerable as they seem, and one must never be overconfident of victory. Alright, fair enough. Um, I want to ask you something else. My assignment is... Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have any idea where I could find a new flyer? Pirates have raided local villages using flyers, swooping down like locusts. Swooping is Minister bad. Minister Shang said he would stop them, but his promises have done nothing. You can find Shang near his still smoldering office in the center of town. I'm sure he will welcome your assistance, even if your reasons are your own. Alright, Shang, 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 Shang. And I have questions about you, Missy. I am unimportant, but I promised I would aid you as best I can, so ask your questions. Uh, tell me about you and Master Lee. Were you, uh, you know, were you, uh, 
I don't know. There is little to tell. I served him years ago in the Imperial Army. I was a tracker and a soldier. I was not at Dirge when it fell, but I heard the tale of Sun Lee's death. Sun killed. And Sun kissed. But I refused to believe he was dead. In time, my faith was confirmed. He sought me out and told me what really happened. I swore my loyalty to him on the spot. I revere him as a teacher, and... I revere him. Ooh. Even when he ordered me to distant lands, my loyalty never wavered. But I am tired. I long for an end to my service. Do I sense a little student-teacher crush, Hui? Even just a little? You sound regretful. Sun Li is a great man, driven by greater goals and ideals. Sometimes his gaze is lifted so high that he does not see what is right in front of him. Yeah, that definitely, yeah, tells me. We who serve him are sometimes forgotten, left to toil in obscurity until the time to act is thrust upon us. So it was with me, waiting for you. Yep, I knew it. She definitely had a thing for Master Li. Whoa, I could use another fighter. Come with me. I cannot. I have done my part. All right. I have given Sun Li my loyalty and devotion. Now I am empty. I have nothing left. I see an end to my long service. I welcome it. Well, I mean... I will give you what guidance and information I can, but that is all I will do. That's kind of rough. I mean, she's been waiting here for me for 15 years, and now that she's finally found me, she feels like she doesn't have a purpose anymore in life. You know... That's kind of... That's kind of sad, you know? Um... Why has Master Li never mentioned you? That would be a question for him, wouldn't it? I can only say that Sun Li devoted his life to raising you to one day right the wrongs in the Jade Empire. If he wanted to keep some small part of his own life and thoughts for himself, who are you to question that? Hey, hey. Everyone must have their private side. But, but I'm nosy. I said I'm, I told you I'm nosy. Oh. I'm gonna ask you something else. My assign Um, no, I think that's about it. I have a lot ahead of me. I should go. I should go. Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead. Alright, alright.